why not just put reverb on the track itself and why do we send it out or bus it out reverbs and essentially what I said was that the dry signal is it's holy signal <laughs> and I just mean it's like it's pure signal like that is the purest of that sound essentially everything's pure but I mean like it's the core of that sound right if you have a lot of reverb it can be less like uh, potent you know what I'm saying less like uh, less to it so if you're putting the reverb directly on the track itself you're then splitting the dry signal into a dry and wet and then it essentially takes parts of that already like what you, I you could refer to as pure um, like dry signal that doesn't have any of that kind of processing on it and then it diffuses bits of it and sends it into the, the same processing that it's good that the dry signal would run through whereas if we send then we get to process the actual spaciness of the reverb completely separately and so we get to deal with the space independently from the pure dry signal does that make sense? Makes sense. So if you like, I was showing you earlier. I, I, I soloed the uh, I soloed the freaking the reverb, and then I soloed. Watch. So here's the the wet wet signal, and then I showed you just the dry. Combine them. Really? Hey, so look, I'm just chilling. Wait, 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 it hasn't focused. Boom, there you are. What's up? <laughs> yeah, I'm just chilling. How's my whip? It's really. Just left. Uh, it doesn't look like it, but I just walked out of the studio. Um, <clears throat> just gonna take a little breather. I have an hour break, so. Gonna take it. Uh, go get some food. I haven't eaten yet today. I put fucking blueberries in my salad and I'm like, I just was like, oh, they're healthy, but like, didn't realize that they don't go well with like olive oil and spinach and fucking broccoli and carrots. But, you know, whatever. I'm in the studio with one of the greatest students of all time to roll through SLDP. The legendary. The one and only. Hansel. What up? <laughs> I want to do like, um, you know how they do it in Zoolander Hansel. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna eat um, and make some tunes. He said he just needs some fine tuning adjustments with these tunes, so that's what we're gonna go in on. And motherfucking Kyle's in the building. Motherfucking Kyle. Motherfucking Kyle. Kyle, turn up. Kyle, turn, turn up. up. They call him Kyle, turn up. Legend has it. Legend has it. <laughs> Yeah. As much as I love the King's Peak room for, you know, doing my thing, um, it gets it's actually really hot. And there's something's wrong with the vent, I have to fix it, I'm not sure. Derek knows the whole thing, but <clears throat> I chill in here a lot of the time. Look how beautiful. It's just like, oh, it's all like natural light. I don't even have the lights on. Sometimes I just do like purple lights or whatever, just for fun. And then it has the sick backdrop for like, I just think it's cool. But I like chilling in here a lot, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna kick it in here. I, need, I have a lot of work to do, so it's only 4.30, all the, all the classes are done, so I'm just gonna take advantage of the studio and the fast Wi-Fi we have here and just uh, pound out some work. Yo, I just barely fucking realized that 
YouTube. Yeah, because yeah, you deleted my other one. I'm so mad about that. <laughs> I'm literally mad. You're still mad? I ate dog food for that. Like, solely for know, the vlog. I didn't know that you did that for the vlog. You said if you do that, I'll vlog it. And so I guess my brother needs his car for the drive-in with this one. So I'm getting a ride to the coffee shop from her before they go. While he cleans out Have his car. Me. I haven't introduced you? Mm -mm. Alright, you guys. This is Jill, aka Jilly. Hunter's girlfriend and longtime lover. Is yes. that a good introduction? That's a great introduction. There you go. Head of the coffee shop. And maybe she'll eat dog food again. Mm -hmm. For the vlog. Because Jake left it out. We filmed it and then I didn't ever post it. <laughs> yeah, so close. It's all. Well, I just invented the most delicious liquid on the planet, maybe. Cold brew coffee, just like your, your regular old cold brew. Ask them to blend a tablespoon of honey into a 16 ounce. You just get the liquid and the honey and you literally just put it in a blender. He's like, I've never done this. And I was like, me neither, but it sounds so good. And it turned into this like creamy, liquid. It literally just tastes like honey, but it's like foamy. Oh my god, that's fucking 10 of 10. I'm gonna get it. Just left the coffee shop, snagging a ride home. I'm gonna go to bed. I have 10 days off in a row, so... That was a Jeep and a Chevy truck, and they were both like 1982, and the truck had a Confederate flag. Like they're racing or something. I don't know. Um, yeah, anyways, I'm gonna go to bed. Thank you guys for watching. Big up, big up, big up. Tons of shit coming my way. Come, tons of shit coming your way. Tons of shit in general. And this weekend, next weekend, we're going to Daytona, and I'm stoked. So, yeah. Anyways, push waves. Those are the Chronicles.